Man, that grunting sucks. It doesn't even notice I was there. Hey guys, Willpower64 here, bringing you back to another part of Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. In the last part, we travel back in time. We gotta stop Gruntilda, because Gruntilda took our best friend, Kazooie, and trying to change the past, but we're having none of it. So we came to the past to try and stop her. And we arrived here at Cliff Farms. This time, we are going to be exploring more of Cliff Farms, as if I show off our totals here. We've only found a little bit of this stuff here. We've only managed to find three jiggies here, a Jinjo, and some moves, and some notes. But, we're gonna continue our search around this area and see what else we can find around here. So we already took care- oh, hello. The Oracle has something to say. Without Mumbo's help, you won't be able to find all the Cliff Farm secrets. Interesting. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind. And knock this guy out over here. And I think there's another Jinjo over here somewhere. I always say, like, oh, there's a Jinjo over here. It's like, uh, nope, guess not. <laughs> All right, well, continuing this way. For now, I actually don't remember exactly all the enemies in this in this game. They don't really tell you who the enemies are, the names and all that stuff. Go move this way. <laughs> I'm having fun not letting blathers come out the pen. <laughs> I don't think they want to play with you anymore, Gruntweed. You you not stop I playing with little blathers. <laughs> quickly go this way. Avoid him. Please help. Please, Mr. Bear. Save us from the bad gruntweed. Take him out, and there we go. Free at last. Thank you for saving us from that bad from that bowering creature. You can take that golden jiggy of our pen if you like. Cool. Very nice. So now you can explore their pen. They're just, they're happy now. They can finally relax. It's weird because, like, they were all cuddled up right here. And then it's like, okay, now we can get out. I don't know. All right, continuing this way. We got some more notes over here. We got some cherries. Oh, there we go. I heard the ginger that time. There's the ginjo. And nothing over here. I, yeah, let's go back to the oracle and see what the oracle says now. Because since we uh, just got the uh, ginjo. Let's see what he's going to say. Oh, they come back. Yeah, the enemies do come back after a while. After you leave off screen, they come back. So what does the Oracle say this time? Says, Oracle, what you say? The little blathers are worried. They won't move until Grunty's monsters are near. Oh, so that's the uh, the one we just took care of. So I guess what he does is he gives you little hints to where to find either A, more Jinjos, or uh, how to get Jiggies. All right, well, let's keep going. We're going to avoid these guys here. And go up this way, and there's... I know, I just saw it. Some water over here. Let's go for a swim. Cliff Springs. Yeah, each area has its own name. So we found ourselves another Jinjo. I won't be going back to the Oracle this time. I'm not going to come back to the Oracle every time we find a Jinjo. Go this way. Avoid that guy. Come down here. We've got a Honeycomb Hive. Hit it. And that's where you get your special honeycombs. So this one, as you saw, this had the exclamation mark. What you do is it just slowly goes up until it finally reaches the uh, honeycomb you want to reach. Farm Heights. Okay, it's a new area here. Uh, I don't know if you saw that on the right, but if we talk to this person here. Whatever am I going to do? My five little chicks are out playing and the farm is crawling with monsters. What if they eat my babies? Why don't I see if I can bring them safely home? Oh, thank you. I'm sure I'll find a way to repay your kindness. Right then, I better be on my way. Bye, Mama Ch Clucker. Okay. So, there are five little chicken or little chicks running about. We gotta go find them all. I saw one down there. Nope. Yeah, I'm back. So, going this way down here. Saw one. Saw this one. So, that's one. Now, if I come over here and show this... Oh, no, wrong way. Uh, was there a note? I don't think so. Okay. If I go up this way, come down here. Oh, chicken. Thank you. Anyways, like I'm trying to say, come over this way. If I were a little smaller, I might just squeeze in there. Or I can't just open the door. I know I heard a ginger over there, but for now, I want to come up this way. Oh, banjo. With all the baddies about, I don't feel safe to bar. 
in the sheep bin. Please give the little balance a hand to get into the dip. Press the control pad left or right to move and hold the B to power up your cast. The longer you hold the button, the further the bait will fly when you let go. If you can catch 12 sheep by four, the time runs out, you deserve a reward. So here's the other mini game. This one, you just want to catch the sheep. And these two are coming right together. So, boom, catch two. Missed that one, and there's one coming near the end. Catch that one. One in the middle, got that one. Another one's going in the middle. And catch that one. This was uh, the mini game I'm not a huge fan of. This game is just filled with mini games, and they're all the same, which is a little disappointment. But there's nothing you can do about it. These mini games aren't that bad, but they can get a bit annoying. Bravo! Here you go. And we got ourselves a Jiggy. Very nice. And grab that. Keep going this way. We got some more notes we can collect. Come up this way. Now, this is the side of the barn. You would think we'd fall or slide, but no. Come up this way. You got your honeycomb. And you got yourself another chicken. All right, so that's three. I uh, don't think... Oh, no, I can go over this way. Cool. Want to come up this way. Because you got some... You got uh, Bazai here. All right, good to see you brought enough of the glittery stuff. Try this useful roll attack. Just press B when you're on the move to send them reeling. Why not have a try on the roll switch over there? Sounds like that's just the attack I'm looking for, Bazai. So now we can roll by just walking and pressing B. That's This is probably one of the best attacks I, in the game. It's just this. Just I love to roll. Whee! Uh, come this way. Actually, if I come back real quick, I'm going to go in there last. We're going to go there uh, later inside the barn because that leads to something kind of important. For now, look what we got here. Mumbo's pad. Gumbo, gumbo. You banjo, me mumbo jumbo. Spears tell a bear who come to tran trainee witch doctor. He get special mumbo to totems from mumbo's magic. Bring Mumbo totems here. Mumbo make magic to transform bear. Trainee, I bet you've had lots of practice with with these transformations then. Uh, spirits say magic very easy. Bring Mumbo totems here for new transformation. Use transformation anywhere until magic gets weak. Come back if Mumbo, come back to Mumbo if bear want to change back. So you, you haven't done this before? No, oh well. I'll just have to cross my fingers when I bring you a Mumbo Totem. Okay, so there we go. We need to find Mumbo Totems. The question is, where do we find them? There, are, these actually, there's not that many of them in the game, so they're all in special areas. Oop, we finally got hit, but over here we got our Jiggy, and we got our last uh, little chick. Oh, you found all my chicks! Please bring them back safely. And how am I going to do it? Just going to go for a swim. We want to go this way because there's actually a few notes that you can get around here. But uh, just know there's a bit of a current. So you're slow. You're going to be slowly moving here. But I want to get all the uh, notes that are around here. So about this game. I actually didn't know about this game. When I first, I first found this game when I went to a store to go pick up. I was just actually going to a store when I was younger to go pick up Paper Mario. Because that's what I wanted to get. But instead of getting Paper Mario, I found out about this. And, well, I wanted to get this game because I'm a huge fan of Banjo-Kazooie and I thought this was supposed to be Banjo-3, which eh, kind of feels like Banjo-3. By the way, here's our next Jinjo. So now we're going to swim back. There are five Jinjos per world, as usual, but they're all the same color. Anyways, but yeah, that was me with this uh, this game. Is I've always uh, thought this was supposed to be the Banjo-3 when I found out. Oh, no, this is actually a prequel to, uh, well, technically, another sequel to the first game. Technically. We've bought all, we've brought all, oh, excuse me, I've brought all your chicks back safe and sound. Thank you, please have this crusty bit of straw-colored stuff that I found. We got ourselves a Jiggy. That's pretty good. All right, so that makes seven. Now we want to go into this barn. Bluff Barn. 
come over here. And first, if I were a little smaller, I might squeeze in there. We also got this. This is a grunty pad. Can't do anything about it right now, but if we roll to the switch, now it's activated. This is what happens. Stand on it and press A. Klongo's lab. Her, her, her. Klongo may grunt tea. Monstrous crop by grunt weeds and whiplashes for Gruntilda. If Klongo's GM badness make Grunty happy, Klongo show Mistress Bear removal formula next. Huh? How Bear get past Witchy Warp and into Klongo's secret room? Klongo give Bear taste of new formula. So this is Klongo. This is our first bo boss of the game. Klongo will have a force field around him, which you can't do anything about it. He'll just throw potions at you. I mean, you can just stand up here if you want. He can't get you. After a while, he'll start to run after you. But after he's done throwing his third potion, force field comes down, and that's when you want to hit him. This is, a this is an occurring boss you're going to notice a lot of. He pretty much does the exact same thing all three turns. So he's going to start running. Oh, he actually got us. Oh, he actually did quite a bit. No, no, it's because I got hurt earlier. So he throws one, second, and then it's third. He tries to run away, but it doesn't work that time. Urgh, Klongo had enough bashing for now. Klongo, go help Grunty get ready to make bearskin rug. And off he goes. And we got ourselves a Jiggy and a Mumbo token. Or totem. I don't know why it's called totem. And there we go. What a brave bear. You've knocked some magic out of Klongo, of Grunty and Klongo. Take this token to Mumbo Jumbo, the witch doctor. He might be able to find a use for it. I had a feeling it's been token this whole time and I've been reading it as totem. If I have, I apologize. <laughs> All right, well, Mumbo tokens it is. Banjo, oh no, Banjo have new totem. Yeah, it's known as totem. Have, Banjo have new totem for Mumbo magic. Mumbo hope this turned out all right. Mumbo change Banjo into something now? Sure. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's see. What do we get changed into? So we can go to Banjo or we have this. And you have three more transformations. For now, we are just going to go transform into this. Mumbo call this mouse. Use mouse to squeeze into small passages. Press A to jump and nibble things with B. When Mumbo magic get weak, Mumbo warn Banjo to step back and return to area of strong magic. And there we go. We now can transform into a mouse while in the mouse form. All you can do is move around and jump. Press B to nibble on something. But you can't attack, so you're kind of vulnerable like this. You can't really do much. But with that, I think we're going to stop for now. Next time on Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge, we'll see where we can go with this mouse and see where else we can go. Till then, I'll see you guys then.